Yeah, I can't actually see anything. Okay, there it goes every one. Yeah, okay, bye. We're not doing this. And cones are all knocked over, and I've completely failed that. Honestly, though, this steering does take some getting used to. Because it just. Ah, uh, crap. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to an episode of City Car Driving. In today's episode, we're driving this marvelous vehicle. I love this. This is the Honda Civic Tipper. Now let me just go over some of the basics. Yes, it is. Well, it's crazily oversold. They went. Hmm, let's just add a spoiler, and then let's put another spoiler, and then let's give it three exhausts right in the middle. Two that are the same size, and one that's different. And then let's throw in a diffuser down there. And let's put some fake exhaust stuff. Oh, and then we also got to do some vents on the hood. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's completely overstyled, except just because it's overstyled does not mean this is a bad car. I don't like the way it looks. I hate... I I mean, I kind of like the front. Although, this would be a hard ass to follow. But just saying, one thing I do need to clear up, some people say that it has almost as many exhausts as it has cylinders. Well, here's the thing. Subaru, on their Impress, I believe, have four exhausts. How many cylinders? Four. Now that we've cleared that up, let's go and take it for a drive. So let's go into the interior camera, and then let's turn it on. There we go. Emergency brake off, seatbelt on, and it's quite quiet until it really doesn't make a good noise. Well, it doesn't because of the game. Anyway, where we're going is going to be not on the road but we are going to be on the road to get there so we have to get onto the road and to go to the defensive driving course which is where we're going so that i can drive this thing fast because who doesn't want to dr drive a honda civic type r fast okay that's on the road this thing is pretty peppy okay and then if you just knock down second gear you just take off and go except i want the first part of the episode to be just normal driving so let's put it in fourth one thing I don't like is that this has a 5-speed manual. It does not have a 5-speed manual in real life. In real life, this has a 6-speed manual, which is a lot better. If I let go of the wheel, it likes to just jolt around in it, its own directions. Let's see if it's going to do, do any of that right here. Nope. Okay, whatever. Around this corner. Oh, that that's some that's some fast steering. Yeah, it's too fast. I sold the freaking car. Honestly, though, the steering does take some getting used to, because it just ah crap. About two seconds into the video, first crash of the day. Now a little bit of clutch slip there. You can't really slip the clutch properly in this game. I showed that in my last city car driving episode. Anyway, now that we've successfully killed someone, let's, uh... Jeez, it goes above the speed limit in no time. Okay, now we're back about the speed limit. And this person ahead of us looks to be drunk. No, no, I'm not going to go off on him and then go follow him, except, um... Just go around him. Okay. Over here is the defensive driving course. And another one on the defensive driving course, let's uh, just give it some beans. Now, well, yes, it does have 400 million horsepower. Hey, it has a lot. 310 or something like that from this engine. Which means, let's just do a 0 to 60 here. First gear. Now, this is a manual, so the 0 to 60 is really depending on how fast you can shift. Anyway, let's just try this. So, you saw my average shift speed was about like that. Or if I wanted to go fast, it was about like that. So, let's go a little faster now. That was a little bit of sh that was a little bit of wheel spin. There's 60. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see if I got. How did I forget the name of it? Heel and toe, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna heel and toe here. Second gear, brakes, heel and toe. Okay, yeah. I kind of like the way it steers, but also it's kind of it's a little bit unpredictable the way this thing steers. So it's a turn, 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 a lot of turn. So you turn, you turn more, and then it turns a lot. 
Now, I think what this car is going to be really good at is over here at this little slalom sort of thing. Hey, there. Which, well, this isn't really a slalom, but see, it tells me to go this way, so I'm going to go this way. And cones are all knocked over, and I've completely failed that. Okay. Well, whatever. You have to go to the right. Once again, off the road. Now, right here, this is a slalom. Yeah, I did just stick it in first gear and leave it there, didn't I? Yep. Okay, here is the start of it. Let's see how long it takes me to do it, and then I'll do it again and see if that's any faster. Of course, I actually can't tell because I'm only putting in the timer after editing. Anyway, let's take off. Okay, okay, okay. Around this corner. Around it. Good. Okay, that's a cone knocked over right there. Now, what you have to keep in mind is that this is front-wheel drive. It's not like you're driving a rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive vehicle through here. This is still very much a front-wheel drive vehicle. By the way, although Honda has done a lot to make sure that it doesn't understeer like most. Not understeer, to make sure it, it doesn't have torque steer. I do like this Honda, though. It's great. Now, let's get over to another zone to do some testing. No turn signal there. Let's see where the top speed is for this little zone here. 77, 90, that's a corner. But we're in an, a car that's Japanese, so we don't have to worry about dying. Well, at least, you, you wouldn't have to worry if someone else is at the wheel, but with me at the wheel, anything's possible. So here's the start. And, well, okay, monitor's out of place, one sec, there, better. Okay, let's start. That's some wheel spin. I think I might have already knocked over a cone and... Uh, okay, that nah, crap. Now, this is where a backup camera could be useful. Uh... Yeah, I can't actually see anything. Okay, there goes every... One, yeah, okay, bye. We're not doing this. Let's see what this is here. So, this is where you get up to a lot of speed. And then you gotta go around uh, this corner up here. A lot of speed, a lot of speed. There we go, perfect. I've had issues for SUVs. If, if I do that with an SUV, it doesn't like it at all. So this is the start here. So you have to go around. And then you have to go around this in reverse. Okay. Cone knocked over. Some more cones knocked over. Okay. Now time to do it in reverse. No cones so far. Oh, that's a lot of cones right there. Never mind. Maybe a little. Okay, no cones there. Cones there. No, wait, no cones there. Never mind, I've just killed everyone. Bye bye. Let's try this one again. Okay. I really like this type R. And no, I don't like it as much as I like a Focus RS because Focus RS is, well, it's my favorite hot hatch. Wait, did it? Did it go in the neutral? Yeah, it went in the neutral. Okay, let me tell you something. Look, it's in gear. There, now it's in gear. Apparently, I just thought, oh, it just got kicked out of gear. Okay, so I have one more thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to go all the way to down here. And then I'm going to go around a, this corner a little bit. Okay. I have an issue in this car with going off the road. Okay, let's turn around. And now let's get the beans. So let's put it first gear. Beans. Okay, now we can go. I'm gonna say it might get up to about a hundred or so. Let's see what it gets up to. 90 miles an hour. 100. 110. And that's a wall. So if there wasn't a wall there, by the end of that I would have said maybe 115 or 20. Okay, let's go switch to something else. This here is a Honda Accord. Now, I don't really like the way this thing looks in the game. However, I like the interior. So let's just start her up. Take the parking brake off and the, put the seatbelt on. Now let's just back her up here. Left signal on. This is the big sister to the Honda Civic. Not necessarily the Type R, but it is to the Civic. Because this is actually a pretty fast car on its own. However, it's more, this is the bigger Honda Civic, essentially. And what that means is that it's 
made for more luxury than it is how the Honda Civic is, but the Honda Civic is more for sport. Let's get around this corner. Although you can really just tell by the way that it drives that it's not going to be winning any champions. It's not going to be winning any races against the Type R, and those brakes are horrid. Okay, look at this. 40 miles an hour, just going to stomp the brake, slowing, slowing. There's Type of stop. And actually, I wonder, what speed will this thing get up to? 60? 70? 80? 90? Now we gotta start hitting the brake really soon or else there's a wall, yep. Hit it too late. Anyway, let's, sh let, let, let's go over here and let's just do a quick test. And does this have a backup camera? No, it does not have a backup camera. Let's just go around this fast. Let's see how this thing does it. It's kinda slow. Now for the backing up part. Okay. If I'm not talking this because I'm concentrating and Okay, there's some people that we've killed. There's a, a pet dog. And then we finally killed a pet monkey. We killed a lot of animals and people just a bit with this one test. You know, I think I think I should get a point just for murdering the idea of driving. Okay, come on, brakes. Work. Okay, look at this. Slam brakes. Not much. Okay, so let's build up some boost. So, full brake, full throttle. Let's see how this thing takes off here. Yeah, that's great. Understeer. I think we need to do that even. Yeah, that's how you can tell this is the not as sporty. Just understeers and why are you why are you coming in here? Oh, he just disappeared. Okay, let's back her up. And now let's see what speed I can get up to with here without spinning the wheel so crazy. Okay, now get around this corner. Those are some cones, almost, almost hit some cones. Now I'll take this out on the road and see how it drives normally. When it comes to driving normal, I would suspect this Accord to do better than the Civic. Because the Civic is more the little tiny sporty model of this. It's slower. Which, in all honesty, it's kind of a good thing. Because that Civic, you kind of put your foot into it a little bit and you're speeding. I could stop for gas, but I'm not going to. Get around that guy. Although this thing does have plenty of passing power. Okay, so right here's a person. We're going pretty slow. Signal on. Car right there. And then we're already back in our lane. That guy just almost got killed. Come on, I'm just putting my foot into it a little bit. And it just slips like crazy. Honestly, that is kind of what this car is for. This is just kind of a cruising car. It's not really meant... Okay. Okay, that car. Okay, I'm passing him because he cut me off. There. And then I'm just going to stop right in front of him. What you gonna do now? Well, I'm stopped in the middle of the road, so I'm just gonna go. Can you not take off in this car without spinning the wheels? Jeez. Okay, now for the... This is gonna be hard to go across here, so let's just gun it. I didn't even gun it. Didn't gun it and just spun the wheels. Let's go this way. And then right up here, we just keep going straight what well, straight but it's a corner and let's park off right up here I'm gonna reverse them let's see how my reversing is today well you wouldn't want me to as, as a valet driver okay now let's try to park so we see that there's a pole right there. Turn around. And there, we parked. Not a very good parking job, but I parked. So, hopefully, like, zip, zip, and goodbye.